Well, you could say that uh, astronomers have really hit it out of the park. Yeah, NASA released more images today from the James Webb Space Telescope. And Mary Elmo spoke with a Minnesota astronomer ex astronomy expert to understand what we're seeing and why it's important. Audiences filled the Bell Museum Planetarium on Tuesday for one of their daily shows. On this day, they'll look up and see quite the treat. This is not just the beginning of the universe. This is the beginning of us. The entire ceiling showing newly released NASA satellite images of galaxies more than 13 billion light years away. Our own Earth is only four and a half billion years old, so these galaxies we're seeing are, are three times older than that. That's almost overwhelming to it think sh about. It should be, yes. Thaddeus LeCourcier leads these planetarium shows. He says people need to be paying attention to these images as they teach us more than we've ever known before about the universe around us in the most detailed, sharpest infrared images of space to date. What we're seeing in those, those long stretched out, those streaks of light, they're, they're curved a little bit, little bows of light. That's light that's actually being bent from galaxies behind the other galaxies we're seeing. The newest images released were Stevens Quintets, which are five galaxies colliding into each other, as well as the Carina Nebula within the Milky Way. Nebula means cloud, um, and this is truly a cloud of gas and dust where new stars are being born. The James Webb Telescope was also able to focus in on a planet called WASP-96b, where scientists discovered water. There's water out there, and water is the essential component for life. Do you think these images are going to be answering questions we've never been able to before, like is there life elsewhere besides Earth? James Webb will provide more answers, more clues to that final answer. Maybe not the very final answer itself, but every piece of data we gather from it will give us more and more confidence towards whatever that answer is. On a daily basis, you could find summer camps of kids all over the Bell Museum, now seeing the stars in a whole new way. We get a chance to show incredible images to a new generation of scientists and inspire a whole new generation uh, to, to continue the work. In Falcon Heights, Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News. Pretty incredible, aren't they? Yeah. Really amazing, yeah. yeah. Well, it takes a James Webb telescope about 12 hours to capture one image, which is the fastest a satellite has ever been able to process infrared light. And NASA actually plans to release images weekly, so stay tuned because we will. Pretty sweet. Yeah. We were all commenting that some of them don't even look real. Yeah. I know. Yeah. They look like paintings almost. And how can yeah. you look at that and think, we're alone in this vast <laughs> universe, you know? Vast is the word. I think I saw where the Predator Monster is from. <laughs> I think I saw Tatooine. <laughs> There's a lot to digest in that image. Well, hope your forecast isn't that scary. <laughs> it's not that okay. scary, I promise. Yeah. We